bet you did not know. I bet you did not know why mankind lived so long in the earlier part of Genesis or throughout the Bible. We can identify that mankind live way longer than how we are living now. Now, apart from because mankind has fallen in sin, right? And their days were shortened. There's another fact why mankind lived so long. Because they were eating from the tree of life. Did you know that? Now, why do I believe, or why do I say I believe they ate from the tree of life? Because God gave them the instruction that they could eat from all trees in the garden, except from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And so the tree of life has substance and healing and long life in it. Why do I say this? Because after mankind fell in sin, they were cast out of the garden and God made every effort to guard the tree of life. He did not want them to go back and eat from the tree of life and ended up living longer than they actually lived well, um, after they were cast out of the garden. And that is why I believe that they were eating from the tree of life. God told them that they could eat of all the trees in the garden, except from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Hence the reason for me saying that they were eating from the tree of life. When they were cast out of the garden, God made sure that they could not have access to the tree because this would allow them to continue having long life in their fallen state. Now, Genesis chapter 5 is highlighting the generations of Adam and how they had children at old age, but at their age that we considered old, and maybe weak, they were very strong. They were very strong and they did not age quickly like we do now. Adam was 130 years old when he had Seth, which replaced Abel, who Cain slew. The righteous seed continued through Seth to Noah, to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Judah, King David, and the Bible said that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, he will come from the lineage of David. Now, what am I talking about? What seed am I talking about? Now, when we read Genesis chapter 2, we remembered that when Eve ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and then she gave it to Adam. And then when God came to talk with them and asked them where they were and why they are hiding, they said that the serpent did this and everybody start blaming each other. And then later on when God was telling them their punishment, the punishment for the woman or the consequence for her action, it stated that the woman will have children in pain. And of course, the serpent who would be cursed, the, 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 the seed of the woman would always be against the seed of the serpent and the seed of the serpent will always be against the seed of the woman. So what seed are we talking about? We are talking about the righteous seed. In other words, if as I go along, you're going to realize that the seed continued throughout the, the the book and it is passed on from one male to the other abel was a righteous seed adam had cain and abel and abel was carrying the righteous seed but cain slew abel and now a replacement was made for abel 
And that is how they ended up having sex. And the script said that when Adam and Eve had set, people started worshipping God again. So let me read. Adam was 130 years old when he had set, which replaced Abel, who Cain slew. The righteous seed continued through set to Noah, to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, through Judah, and through David. And as I go along, if you stay with me, you're going to understand clearer what I'm trying to bring forward. The line through which the Messiah, Yeshua, who we know as Jesus, this was the seed mentioned in Genesis 2, who would bruise the seed of the serpent, the unrighteous seed. Let us continue the generation of Adam and you will see what I am talking about. Adam had other children other than Set. Sons and daughters as mentioned in verse 4. Now, why is it that those names were not mentioned? We heard that they had Cain. We heard that they had Abel. We know how that story went. Then Abel was replaced by Set. Why couldn't it be why couldn't it be that the generation continued through Cain because Cain was not the righteous seed and so set replacing Abel the righteous seed continued through Abel I mean through set now Adam lived 930 years Seth lived 105 years before he had Enos. Then, 807 years after, he had other sons and daughters. The other sons and daughters are not mentioned. So, so far, we have Adam moving to Seth, moving to Enos. Enos grew up and at 90 years old, he had Canaan. Then 815 years later, he had sons and daughters. Enos lived 905 years. The other son and daughters were mentioned. Now Cain, Canaan is, has grown up. He's now 70 years old when he had Mahalalil. 840 years after, he had sons and daughters. Canaan lived for 910 years. I hope you're following the pattern. One special son is highlighted and not the other children. It simply means that those sons who were highlighted were extra special. They were carrying the seed of the woman. All right, follow with me. Mahalalil had a son named Jared. At 65 years old, eight, yes, Mahalalil had a son named Jared. At 65 years old, 813 years later, he had another son, or he had other sons and other daughters, and passed away at 895 years old. So we see now, we have Adam highlighted. Then Abel was, was, was taken out by his brother. And so Seth continued the righteous seed. Then after Seth, we had Enos. After Enos, we had Canaan. After Canaan, we have Mahalalil. All right, let us continue and see where the seed will continue, who the seed would continue through. So Jared grew up. And at 62 years old, he had Enoch. 800 years later, he had sons and daughters and died at 962 years old. So Jared is highlighted here. Then Enoch later had Methuselah, who is known as the man that lived the longest, almost a thousand years old. Enoch had other sons and daughters 365 years later, but he did not die. 
he was taken by God. How amazing that was to have a child that lived the longest and was taken by God. Enoch must have been a very righteous man. And long life was a blessing because this was passed on to his son, Methuselah. Now, Methuselah was 87 years old when he had Lamech. 782 years later, he had other sons and daughters. And Methuselah lived in total 969 years. And then he died. Remember, we're following the righteous seed. Lamech was 182 years old when he had Noah. When he had Noah, this is what Lamech said. The same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which God had cursed. So remember, the punishment for man was that the earth was cursed. So they would toil, their labor would be very hard. All right, so Lamech is highlighting here that farming was not easy due to the earth being cursed and sin was escalating. The earth itself was crying out to its creator and God would bring comfort to its creation by destroying sin that mankind had caused. Now Lamech then had sons and daughters 595 years later and died at 700 and 77 years old. Wow. I was saying, why is it that Lamech died at 777 years old? Does this number have any meaning? What a number. Completion tripled. Just follow with me. Seven represents completion. And I guess this was the indication or this was an indication that something great was going to happen. We know that six is the number of man. Just as how it is taught that after 6,000 years here on earth, then the earth is going to come to an end. And then you're going to have a thousand year reign, which would be in the 7,000 years. All right. Before we have eternal heaven and eternal earth stay with me and you will see what i'm trying to say here noah was 500 years and had shem ham and japheth so what we see here is that throughout the reading of the generations of adam in genesis chapter 5 adam only all right, let me say that again. So what we see here is that through, throughout the reading of the generations of Adam, only one male child was named. Named, Even though each person had other sons and daughters, the chapter was focused on tracking the righteous seed. Adam then set then Enos, then Canaan, then Mahalalil, and then Lamech. And guess what? Lamech had Noah. But Lamech was actually the sixth male mentioned. And I, as I was saying, six represents mankind. And then Noah was the seventh male mentioned. And we know that seven is completion. So what we're seeing here is that when Noah came, the destruction of sin, God was about to bring that into, what, what should I say now? Into process. It was about to happen. And this happened through Noah when the earth got rest. Remember the, after, after, 
After this chapter, we're going to see where Noah was told to build an ark and then the flood came and basically creation started over. So that is what Genesis 5 is actually talking about, the tracking of the seed. And if you continue in your own time to continue reading through Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and you continue down, you're going to realize that even though different patriarchs of the Bible had different sons, emphasis is placed on one. And the focus is always on the righteous seed leading down to Messiah, to who we know as Jesus Christ. All right. So that's it for today. As I said, it's a chapter a day and we are now at chapter five. That's it for this evening. Mm -hmm.